So we're less than a week away from Endgame. We are less than a week away from the conclusion of the first 11 years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it, or at least we thought we are a week away from the ending of the first 11 years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the closeout of phase three, the phase that was first announced at the El Capitan Theater, uh, I believe in May or April of 2014. No, I think it was the fall of 2014. Yeah, it was 2014. Okay, it was a long time ago. That big reveal, Kevin Feige getting up there telling us that it's going to be Infinity War and then Avengers 4 after that. And it was a big moment. We knew what was coming. We knew what was coming down the pipeline. The gauntlet had been thrown so to speak, and we were going going to be seeing the conclusion of this saga, getting Thanos, getting the Infinity Gauntlet, the Infinity Stones, and this dope as hell. But as we're coming up to this final week, this final push before Endgame hits theaters, a lot of people have been talking about uh, Phase 3. Is this ending Phase 3? But if that's the case, what about Spider-Man Far From Home? Is that going to be the beginning of Phase 4, or is that going to end out Phase 3? And you know, for a while, the speculation was all over the place. The speculation was all over the place, but now we have absolute confirmation. Spider-Man Far From Home will end phase three of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not begin phase four, says Kevin Feige. And that's, I think, the right call. I think that ultimately is the right answer. Spider-Man Far From Home should end it. And there's also precedent set for this, by the way. So if you go all the way back to 2015, it feels like such a long time ago, four years, go all the way back to 2015 and you had Avengers Age of Ultron hit theaters and so many people thought that was going to be the ending of phase three because it felt like a good place or an ending of phase two because it felt like a good place to end it. Avengers ended phase one and you figure of Avengers Age of Ultron would end phase two. But in reality, July 2015, Ant-Man that was the actual ending of Phase 2, and it was leading into the release of the first film of Phase 3, which is Captain America Civil War, which at the time, when it was announced originally at the El Capitan Theater, was known, I think, as like the Secret Society or something. Uh, it was a totally different name at the time, but they were still working out the deal for trying to get uh, Iron Man and Spider-Man into it. In fact, actually, at that point in time, the Sony leak hadn't happened yet, so I think they scrambled to make it Civil War because of everything that went down, but that's just my theory. But that being said, there is precedent there with Ant-Man being the film to end out phase two on a bit of a lighter note, on, on a little bit of a lighter note from something that was as heavy as Age of Ultron, which it was, even though Age of Ultron had a good, happy ending, it still was a bit morose, right? It, it still was a bit down. You know, Hulk was off into the wind somewhere. The the Natasha uh, Bruce romance that was budding in the film is, is, is a put on ice, so to speak. Uh, you know, and everyone was just kind of like, man, we just almost got beat by this by this mega massive AI that is still going to exist in some fashion. Now we have vision. So that's a new thing to deal with. And it kind of felt like a bit of a downer ending. It, it did because they also knew about the threat of the Infinity Stones, given what Thor had said at the end of the film. So this 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 phase ending on Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, I think ultimately ties into my greater theory. My greater theory has always been because we knew this a long time ago that uh, Far From Home was going to begin four minutes after the ending of uh, Infin uh, of, of Endgame. So when so four minutes after the end of Endgame is when I think uh, is when Spider-Man Far From Home is supposed to begin from what we were told. That could change. But I think what's going to happen is it's going to start with Peter being on the bus. I think that is where the movie is going to start showing us that the events of Infinity War, the snap never happened. They're going to reverse the effects of the snap and, and send almost everybody back, maybe in a bit of an alternate timeline. There's been some talks about it being like an alternate universe, uh, fracturing the universe out when they go through the quantum realm. They're going to be going on to the other side, so on and so forth. I don't think so. I think they're going to keep it simple. Uh, someone tried arguing that uh, that quantum mechanics is now in the in the public consciousness and and we're, we're talking more about that now so the audiences are not going to be as confused no 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 they're not going to look they're not going to try to drop some 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 quantum mechanic theory on the general audience of the world and expect them to get it this is going to be pretty straightforward because they've got a three-hour window to fill with a lot of stuff with a lot of character moments and they're not going to want to bog it down with science so i don't i don't think that's going to happen but spider-man i think is going to pick up at the beginning of Infinity War, just without Thanos coming to Earth. I think they're going to stop Thanos. They're going to reverse the snap, prevent that from happening. And it's going to maybe reset the universe for what we know it as. But everyone is not going to have an aware, being aware of what happened. Think of like, 
Flashpoint. If I had to compare it to anything, I think this is going to be the MCU's Flashpoint, where you know it, 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 there was an alternate timeline. Maybe like maybe maybe not so much Flashpoint. Maybe let's th- let's think uh, let's think Back to the Future too, right? You have what's going to happen is they they were in an alternate 1985. Then they're going to go back, fix the problem, go back to the future, and it's going to be all hunky dory. Uh, but there is going to be some sacrifice that takes place that uh, is not ultimately going to be felt just yet. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see anything could happen, but I think it's going to, I think it's going to be time travel. I think they're keeping it at that. Uh, I think perhaps, you know, Dr. Strange put everything in a time loop because the, the, the the time stone was activated, but look, I don't want to get off on too much of a theory. This video is more about uh, far from home. Um, but I do think that's what they're going to do. I think they are going to stick with, with that particular thing, but I, I am curious to know your thoughts on this one. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that we're going to see, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home pick up immediately after the events of Infinity War? Or do you think it's going to take up immediately after the events of Endgame? Do you think it's just going to be a, a time reset? Is it going to be a, a whole new universe? Is this going to be a different Peter Parker? And also at the end of Far From Home, they're going to be teasing something else because they they did that with Ant-Man. They teased Civil War, but they, nothing's being shot right now for next year. We don't even know what's coming out next year. They're not even going to announce Phase 4 until uh until comic-con and this one opens july 2nd and comic-con is july 17th i believe so it's what 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 what's the what's the post-credit scene going to be we don't know anything i'm calling it now i'm calling it now the avengers tower will be purchased uh, by either Oscorp or it's going to be the Baxter building, because those are, those are the things they're going to be able to probably say, uh, probably more Baxter building than Oscorp, just because so at this point, Marvel owns Fox and they can play with that a little bit and they can do that a little bit. And I think that's going to be the reality of it. But, uh, again, we'll have to wait and see. I am curious to know your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below. I will